guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. Alright, so we're going on to the next color, which is 310. And it is a black square with a white circle in it. We are trying to figure out the best setup for my camera. So it is definitely a work in progress. So just bear with us while we attempt to do all of that. Alright, so. <clears throat> So, my kids are not adjusting well to the, the move either because um, they're just trying to get familiarized with their room and everything and they are not wanting to go to bed when we put them in there to go to bed. So, they absolutely should have already been awake today and they are still not. <laughs> it's like they're on, it's like they're teenagers and on summer vacation. I'm like, why are you sleeping your whole entire day away? But, on one hand, I'm like, enjoying the peace and quiet <laughs> that I'm getting from this. But on the other hand, I'm like, they need to be awake because they're not going to sleep tonight. So, it's a catch-22. I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not I want to continue to do a diamond painting, like after this diamond painting, whether I want to continue to do it by color because I feel like they're not very straight in some sections and some sections are fine, um, but I feel like I'm a little bit of a more of a perfectionist when it comes to diamond placement, so I think from now on I'm going to stick with doing it section by section like I normally do. And I will actually have a video on that um, in the near future of how I actually do my normal, typical square diamond paintings. Because I have a specific, specific way that I do them to make sure that they are straight. Because if a dime, if the square diamonds start out straight, the theory is they will end straight. So, and I haven't really had any problems with that. Um, and I've done, majority of my diamond paintings have been square. So I have done 34 diamond paintings now because I finished the rainbow rose. I've done 34 total. And let's see, there are quite a few that, that are rounds and 
but still I've done majority in squares. Like I will have to look it up to see how many are, are of each because um, I don't know off the top of my head right at the moment. Um, I actually wear glasses um, to see for distance. And so I thought maybe the reason the, the um, symbols were looking a little on the blurry side was because I wasn't wearing my glasses. So I tried putting my glasses on. <laughs> And it just makes the, the symbols look a little tiny bit sharper, but not, not nearly enough. Like it's still, they're still quite blurry. Like these green ones are, I barely can even see that there's a symbol in them, you know, at all. So, um. an arm or two <laughs> off of the glasses. So, um, I remember we've, we've glued in lenses. We've, um, there was a, a there was a time where my, uh, my mom, she drove us all back East and, um, we went to visit some family, uh, back in Massachusetts and, um, we we get there and everything and everything is fine and then she sleeps with her glasses rolls on top of them and breaks both arms off of her glasses so now she's got to drive back um, i think we were i think we were possibly going to I think we were possibly going to, oh, we were, okay, so we were driving back to Sacramento, California, where I'm originally from, um, and we were driving back there, and she broke both of her um, arms off of her glasses, so my uncles, uh, I have two uncles that live back there, they concocted this, um, this idea of putting putting my fluorescent hot pink shoelaces as eyeglass holders and she got out of the car and said come on we're gonna go get something to eat to my brother and I and we both said uh -uh. And she's like, are you embarrassed to go into the restaurant with me like this? And we're like, uh-huh. And so, I mean, we were all busting up laughing. My uncles had a ride over over the concoction that they made. Why they had to take my fluorescent shoelace, I don't know. But <laughs> it was so funny and so embarrassing. And my brother and I were like, no way are we getting out of the car. Um, my mom always had like one armed glasses or, or they would be bent glasses and she wore those huge, like old lady glasses that covered like almost her entire face. So when I had to get glasses, I was like, oh no. I don't want glasses, but actually I don't mind them now. I think, you know, like my glasses are, are oval shaped and then they don't got to be as big as hers. So, but I didn't have to get them until I was later in, in my, you know, like twenties. So, you know, I wasn't, um, I just, I, I've lost my vision gradually, I think. Um, so, um, I actually was diagnosed with glaucoma. Um, I haven't lost 
lost any vision from it, but this um, was a few years ago. And I'm actually really young for my age to have glaucoma. Um, but um, they asked me if I had any African American descent descendants or descent in my in my genes, and I told them I do. Apparently, African American are more dispositioned to get glaucoma at an earlier age than for some reason any other any other nationality that I, at least that's what they, the ophthalmologist told me so um but you know I feel like whatever it is it'll happen to me because um I actually have a thyroid issue um I have an autoimmune thyroid disorder Hashimoto's and it's hard because it gives me so many different symptoms and so many different things that like I just it it's really sometimes it's really hard to to deal with and it definitely um I, I gain weight and I can't get rid of it and um like causes dry skin issues it caught you know like it has so many so many things that it causes and I seem I feel like you know one day I was just like I can barely even find the energy to take a shower like I'm that it's like that bad like I'm just like what what does this even mean the doctor had my thyroid tested and then they did a ultrasound on my thyroid and found out that I actually have Hashimoto's and so that I've that I've been dealing with since um I want to say my early 20s I found out about it um because I like I could barely even get motivated to to get up and go to work like it started to really affect my life and even still like the I'm like they test me and, I, and they say that my my levels are normal but i still feel the effects of of it so and um right now we don't have health insurance so it just like it really sucks because i really should be on medication for my, all of my issues um, definitely my glaucoma because if my eye pressures go up too much it will ruin my optic nerve and cause blindness so that's something that I'm supposed to be um, you know monitoring and, and taking medications for like forever and so not having insurance is kind of it's kind of like one of those things where it's like it's not possible but then it's like but if you can't afford it then what are you supposed to do and that's kind of the predicament I'm in is like we really can't afford the extra money um, going out because like it's just not feasible for us right now and um, So, um, yeah, my mom, my mom, she used to always roll over on, on, on her different like, pairs of glasses, and I actually have a couple pairs of her glasses that she wore, um, in the last few years, because, um, when she got sick, she was living with me, so, um, I have like the personal belongings and stuff that she that she had on her stuff so we're just trying to get like 
all like moved in and settled. Um, with all of the stuff that my husband needs to do and um, me editing and, and videoing, we're finding it a bit of a struggle to get everything all balanced and whatnot. So we're just, we're just, um, you know, just trying to get things all settled in and, and do what we can. Oh, it has a tab on it. And this one is a shard. So sometimes they come with little shards on them and they're just like, like the extra plastic or whatever that's stuck in in there um, after cutting them up or who knows from what exactly but oh. And I do my best to try to turn over as many as possible so that it's easier to pick them up without having to chase them around the tray. But I definitely will be happier when my other trays come because... Oh, speaking of... I looked today and seen that there was an update for one of my packages that's supposed to be coming. It's actually the... The free one, I think. It says that it's moving in China still, but it it almost sounds like they re they rejected it to be exported, um, and it almost sounds like they're sending it back to the sen the, the returning to sender. So I don't know if I'm gonna get it now. Because that's the one that already says it was delivered to me. So I'm like, what the heck? No. <sighs> so I don't know if I will be getting that one or not after all. Um, which is really most unfortunate because I definitely wanted to review it for everybody. Um, but... I guess, I guess I, you know, if it doesn't get sent to me, I mean, it was only a penny. It was, it was free, but it was, it, you have to pay a penny, basically, to prove that you're a real person and not a robot and, and whatnot. So, um, so I paid the penny on it and, um, yeah, it just, it, it it looks like it was stuck in customs and then it might have been rejected. So, I'm not exactly sure for sure, um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens um, because it's, it's still, it's still in transit somewhere in China, going somewhere. So, I'll just wait to see where it ends up, I guess. Um, since I don't really know if it's still coming out here or not. <laughs> uh, the other ones, there's been no movement though. Like, I, I wish, I really wish there had been movement on my... On my one from Mayan because like I said, that's the one that I'm mainly worried about because I'm like really worried it's lost. And that one's the one that really cost me the most money. Like um, the trays, they were only like $5. I could, you know, easily lose out on $5 and not be upset. But the other ones cost me over $100. So I, there's no way... That I will be able to accept the fact that they are lost and not and not get anything reimbursed or otherwise for it. So 
Um, so we're just, I just want to see some kind of movement on it just so I know that it's still coming and, and whatnot, but so far nothing. Um, and this is the most I've ever spent on any diamond paintings because we, um, decided to do this for our, our five year anniversary to each other, um, and get a special diamond painting for our new, our new place. So, um, we got one for him and one for me and we're supposed to work on them together, but I'm guessing I'm going to be doing most of the work. And so the plan for that is though to, to try to, um, work on, on it every day. For a certain amount of time and if I need to to work on something else in between for a little bit just so that I can get the satisfaction of finishing something because I noticed that when I when I can't finish something for a while I start to get a little on the frustrated side because it feels like it's never going to get finished so I need that I need that finish just to feel better and whatnot and so sorry guys this whole new setup it's like um the tripod is sitting in my lap a little bit so I forget it's there <laughs> so I'm just gonna get this color finished and then I probably will stop recording for today. And then probably get some lunch or something for the kids and I. These black drills look pretty good, the 310s. Um, I mean, I've seen some pretty mangled 310s. Um, the ones from Paint With Diamonds, they, they would be missing the top part that's supposed to, like, come out of the pyramid shape. They would be missing the top part, and, like, they, that would not, they would not sparkle because they lost their, the top part of their pyramid, so it's like, gosh, that's terrible, like, the, it, like, you can't use these ones because... They don't, they don't shine, they don't look pretty, and so you have to kind of trash those ones, and if they all are getting broken, then it makes it really hard to, like, I, sometimes I had to trash so many that I didn't have enough to even finish my project, um, so, um, I would have to use another them from another project or and you know like I feel bad because like some people they don't have a stash of of diamonds you know because they just started or um, they haven't built up their stash or they decided they weren't going to keep them and then you run out of the color and you're like shoot what do I do now so um, for me, I ran out of, I ran out of 310s on my wolf, my Aurora Borealis wolf, and I had to take 310s from my family portrait, which I ended up running out of diamonds for, so it was like, gosh, I'm just running out of diamonds all over the dang place, um, from paint with diamonds, so I actually, um, stopped um, ordering from them because I was having so many missing diamond issues and the shipping was just taking like a really long time. It would take two months to get it and some companies are really good about how fast they get them to you. I think it was uh, home fun. I got my diamond painting in two weeks and I think that's the fastest I've ever gotten a shipment from China. 
Um, I think I also, I think I also got my shipment within two weeks from Huacan, but they sent it to me in two, in two different um, sets because I ordered, I think I ordered 16 from them. And then I think I ordered, I think it was 20 from Evershine. So, but Evershine sent all 20 of theirs in a giant box that took forever just to even get them to send it out of the warehouse. So, um, but they definitely didn't come to me within two weeks, but, but Home Fun seems to ship their stuff really fast, but I am probably never going to order as long as they my the Mayan company um as long as everything is good when it gets here I probably won't order from another company other than Mayan um unless I find another company that does port glue customs because I will never go back to double-sided adhesive I mean when when I received the Huacan and the Evershines, those diamond paintings were flawless. Like, the, the canvases were flawless. But their diamonds sucked. So it's like, you gotta get your diamonds from somewhere else and your canvases from Huacan. <laughs> um, but it's kind of just, that's just too much and too crazy to try to do. So, um... Otherwise, you could order a blank canvas and map it out yourself on a cross stitch. Um, there's a cross stitching website. I think it's. Why can't I ever think of what it is when I when I want to say it? Um, I'll li I'll list it down in the description below. Uh, what the website's called, um, but. I'm not very good at the math and all of that stuff, so I would have to, like, you can uh, send me a message and I might be able, I might be able to explain it, um, or I might be able to send you in a direction that is better about it, um, because I still, I still have not done it, but there are other creators out there that have created their own and they've done the um heaven and earth designs um ones and you know converted it out to from a cross stitch pattern so um i will eventually try to do that i just haven't found um I haven't found the time to, because when I do it, I want to be able to find the time to actually complete it. And right now I have so many diamond paintings that I need to complete that I don't think, I don't think I'll have time to do a Heaven and Earth design or, um, because there's actually, um, Heaven and Earth design actually offer some freebies as well. They do, their, um, kit, their kits do cost. But they do have some freebies on their website. Um, and um, so they do have one that I want to complete. And I actually have have the PDF downloaded and everything. I just, um, I just haven't, like I said, had the time to do it. And I would probably want to have um some a, a poured glue canvas blank canvas with like um probably with like um some qu good quality drills so i'd have to like make sure whoever i order it from um is is willing to give a deal on their on their drills with a blank canvas so but i'm gonna actually try to film that 
um, that square, like how I actually work on squares, um, how I normally work on squares, uh, probably when I start my next dreamer design, or I might take my husband's canvas and use it as an example of how it'll go, so. I'm almost done with this color. I need to find a chair that's comfortable. This chair is not comfortable at all. It's just a metal chair. And my butt feels it. <laughs> uh, it definitely knows it's a metal chair. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was done. Gosh darn it. A liar? I am a liar. You're a liar? I don't think this wax works as good as the Diamond Art Club wax. Yeah, you agree? Um, I just feel like it doesn't pick up as many drills as what the Diamond Art Club one was picking up for me. Is some wax in my ear? Ew! I'm not using the wax from your ear. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.